What's going on Nakamas? It's your boy Mosey here, back with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On this episode of Mosey Reacts, I have episode 445 of One Piece. But before I get into today's episode, it's the start of a new week, so that means it's time to announce Nakama of the Week. And this week's Nakama of the Week goes to Brandon Stickles. And for those of you who aren't aware of what Knock of the Week is, it's my way of showing my appreciation for all the love and support that you guys give me. So anytime Brandon comments on my reviews, I'll go ahead and pin it. Sort of give them like their own little platform to share their thoughts and feelings. And speaking of thoughts, it's also time for a comment of the day. And the comment comes from SBWN who said, Of all the things I expected you find at the bottom of the Ultra Max security prison, I was never expecting the Genderfuck Liberation Army. And neither was I. Like, I love trying to predict stuff. You guys have come to realize that, I would hope. And still, this show is so freaking unpredictable. It is... I love it and hate it at the same time, but like the like seriously, like what are the chances if that Luffy is teaming up with two warlords, also people that he's defeated before, like Buggy and Mr. One, even though they were kind of like under croc, but still beating past villains that are now on our side to get out of a prison in order to save his brother from execution. I what? Did ah uh, what a show. I do appreciate the comment though, uh, SB. With that being said, let's go ahead and we'll ride into today's episode. Reminder though, this is not a marketing substitute. You should always support the official release. <laughs> How easily we just started a riot and like what is quote unquote the world's strongest, most dangerous prison is. I'm waiting for you to play it. I don't like how big your face is. <laughs> Saul Death seems a little scared by that. Like, his head is like a character, and I think that's what's putting me off. I love him waiting to see this uh, koala fight. Okay, I'm cool with you guys sticking up, but I kind of wanted to see the guards fight, so... I love it. Tokuni Nasaki Yosha no nai gokusotsu jou ya Roban chou gokusotsu chou ni wa soutou urami ga aru mitai ne. Totto to shimatsu shite oshimai. Ikki ni semero. I don't know which one I like best. Namen ja nai wa. I'm starting to think I don't like you. I'm just finding you very, very attractive. I think that's what my favorite one is. Okay, cool. I was going to say... <laughs> Is that guy covering up his chest because he doesn't have his shirt on? <laughs> like, well, I wanted you guys to kind of win, but at the same time, I wanted them to fight longer because I want to see what they're actually like, so. Oh, 
Pretty sure one of his giant punches could have taken out all three, but that's just me. Mm. I love his smile. You know what I mean, like, we have all, the, we have two warlords, Mr. One, uh, Ivan. Why do we need Buggy and Mr. Three? How are they going to come back into play? I just created another door. I don't get it because I'm confused. Like, the poison wasn't affecting them, was it? Why am I, I should get a buggy fucking cosplay too? Wow, there's so many cosplays, I'm gonna be broke by the end of this anime. Honestly, what went through my mind when he said, hey, I can use it again. I was like, oh, is he going to coat people in wax so they can walk through it? Would that work? Okay, and if Buggy were to touch, if Buggy were to touch the poison, would it affect the rest of his body, knowing that his arm is now separate from the rest of his body? So much for coating it in wax. Hmm. Hmm. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> I just got me a new Nami and Robin a hoodie coming in. Ooh, I can't wait for you guys to see it. What could Blackbear be doing? Like, he obviously isn't on the side of the government. Like, there's no way you're allowed to just break into Impel Down, kill a whole bunch of Marines, and be like, I did it for the government. Like, there's no way. I mean, I don't think he is. I can't imagine Sengoku sit him here. Well, no, because then Goku didn't know he was here. The fact that there are five of them and you're not that bit nervous scares the f out of me. I'm not gonna lie, Teach has definitely gotten a lot drippier once getting that confidence of a warlord, I'd say. ロヒネも、あのシリオならばレベル 1 
so hard. I cannot figure out like people's strength. Like you're a warden, but you don't seem like you're that powerful, or you're the vice warden. Like, how is it like this guy is the vice? That means he has to be stronger than like the demon guards and Sadie. And also, if he's a vice warden, is he only there because the manager went kind of rogue? Because then he's a vice warden, that make him stronger than the manager. And the manager is then strong enough to beat Blackbeard, and Blackbeard was strong enough to beat Ace. So that would then make the manager stronger than Ace. And then Han is stronger than the manager, which make him even stronger than Ace. Like. I feel like I would fuck with her if she didn't do the mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so much. Hey, that's my move. <laughs> hmm. Wow, you took out the manager like that, they didn't want to give him his own scene. <laughs> シリオ監視長を解放し黒い犬に向かわせたとあのシリオ監視長が謀下し迎えの一人が相手とはいえそう安々と破れるはずかこの女らしい細やかな気遣い迷わず成仏するシベル<笑> <laughs> Why do you say stuff like that and make me like like you again? <laughs> with hormones, does hormones affect bones as well? Like, if he gets a broken bone, can he repair those with his hormones? <laughs> <笑>あれ誰だ岩ちゃん見てんな喋り方急げレベル <laughs> How did your just demeanor change so? All right, well, that was it for episode 445 of One Piece. And the degrees in which this show is heating up is just so, it's so fascinating to me. Like, it, it feels like we're already at a boil, but we're really still, I feel like, at a simmer theoretically, because like, we are still kind of doing like, we haven't even gotten to the boss battles. Yeah, we faced uh, Magellan before, but we still have to face him again. I think that's like the real battle with him. We then have the Vice Warden battle we have to do. Then we have the battle between the Manager and Blackbeard. They're going to battle, right? And then the winner out of those two is then going to probably come down to then try to stop the riots. So we have that battle. And all of that stuff has to take place and that's not even then counting then like the white beard aspect, the whole world government aspect, the other, uh, what, six warlords, seven warlords, and then minus, 
minus Jinbei, so six. Yeah, so there's the other six Warlords then aspect. So it's just like, we still have all those battles that we haven't even touched on. So right now it feels like it's boiling, but we're still at it just a simmer. And that's just crazy to me. I love it. Cannot wait to see what happens next. I do appreciate you guys sticking around watching this reaction. It's been real. It's been great. It was hella freaking great later on.